Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Imperium Classics and Imperium Legends and how to organize them in their own separate boxes. Now this might be useful for you if you only have one copy of the game or if you prefer to keep the artwork. Now there is another video that's on this channel that is going to be showing you how you can combine all the contents into one box, but I do like this method a lot because you get to retain this beautiful artwork and it also is going to make it so that you don't have to worry about needing components for each game or you know combining the two decks if you want to combine. So I do like having them kind of in their own universes, but you can still easily just open up the second box and mix things if you'd like to. Now with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the organization. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Imperium Legends box to show this off. Let's go ahead and jump inside. First off, let's go ahead and lift off the box lid. And inside you'll see that we have the solo rulebook, the main game rulebook, and then we jump into what you'll see is a divided section. So let's first take a look on this left side. On the left side here, we're going to have all of the player components put into bags. You simply just toss them to that player and they're ready to go. First things, we have all of our action markers, our exhaust tokens, and then one of these barbarian slash empire cards for each person. So there's gonna be four of those. Up next, we have a cyclic gel pack in here for freshness. And then we have our market I guess these are the market rows. Uh, these are gonna have the symbols for when you're buying the market. So just kind of drape those on top. And then lastly, underneath here, we have a organizer from Dollar Tree. These are one buck a piece. I really like these small little boxes. They're super useful. They've got your population, your materials, and your progress tokens organized nicely. And then your multipliers up here that have the fives and the tens in case you're playing with large player counts and you need some of those tokens. You also have our solo tokens here, solo die, and then additional action and exhaustion tokens here. I really like this container. You simply just lift the lid off and you're ready to go. No other setup needed. And it just simply fits really nicely into this area on the left there. So that being said, on the right side here, we have all of our cards. This is a fully sleeved copy of the game. And first off, you'll see that we have this section here that is holding all of your kind of starter cards here. So these are all of the cards that you're gonna populate that market with at the beginning of the game. In addition to these in the front here, these are gonna contain more of those starter cards. So all that together, you're gonna have that at the start of each game, so keep those separated. You can also separate the three plus and the four plus cards, just in case you're playing with the uh, lower player counts. So those are all organized there. And then you'll have all the factions organized using simply just index cards here. So for those factions, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have all of their characters based on that color in that corner there. So you'll group all those cards together. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is what I'm actually using to hold these cards. These are actually just pieces of cardboard that have been taped together. So this is specifically some extra cardboard from the Marvel Legendary card game expansions. I like how they are nice and cut well, and some of them are already taped together. But you can do this all sorts of things. If you look at my other videos, sometimes I'll have like a pizza box or something like that. You can always turn them upside down so you can't see any art. So you retain the illusion that, hey, it's not a pizza box. So there's lots of different options there. But the big thing is you just want something to support these and keep the cards from sliding around. So that being said, let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, let's go ahead and put those starter cards back in, slide them over to the right, put our organizer on the left, our little market identifiers, our player components, our silica gel packet, our rule books, and then our box lid. And that is organizing Imperium Legends and Imperium Classics into their own separate boxes. I hope that you guys found this useful. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. How do you organize your copy of Imperium Classics or Imperium Legends? What do you think of the two games? Would you rather have them separate or combined? I'd love to hear what you think. All these things will be linked in the description below, but thank you so much. Side Game Strong.